Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakadash. I'm coming back to you today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of today's lesson is Salvation is Only for, for the Israelite. Salvation is Only for the Israelite, for Israel. The ideal about it, you know, we have, uh, and I like to say Shalom to all our listeners and learners that hoping that this would build your faith and that you uh, will come back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And uh, it's a lot of things going on that everyone can be saved. Uh, all these other different nations say they can be drafted in. They can all can be a part of this, but he only gave his law, statutes, commandments and uh, to one to one nation. And that nation was Israel, Jacob. So we'll find out in the lesson day, according to the Bible, who who can receive salvation? Who is the only nation that he's dealing with? So we'll get started in the book of uh, Psalm chapter 147. And we'll start up at, at verse uh, 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. Verse 2. He has not dealt, so like verse 20. He has not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise ye the, the Lord. So let's read that again. Psalm chapter 147. And we'll start up at verse 19 again. Let's get uh, more clarification here. And it, and it, and it reads, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statue and his judgment unto Israel. Verse 20. He has not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgment, they are not known. They have not known them. Praise ye the, the Lord. So the idea about it is that he only dealing with the nation of Israel, Jacob. Jacob's name was changed. And when you go to Genesis and, and you know, he wrestled with the angel. The Lord blessed him and he was the uh uh the patriarch of the five uh, of the twelve tribes of Israel. You know, his name was changed to Israel. So he said he's only dealing with with Israel, so the ideal about it is, it's it is, uh, it's a certain nation that he's dealing with, and that is Israel, the Israelite, and also his law, statutes, and commandments. They are the only one that know them. He's not dealing with any other nation. It's plain and simple. Uh, Psalms 147 and verses uh, 19 through 20. It's, it's, it's a it's clear cut that he's not dealing with everyone. He can't, he can't everyone be saved? Can't everyone be drafted in? Only unless you are Israelite. You come from uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But the idea about it, we'll get a little bit more edification. We'll go to Romans. Uh, we'll go to Romans chapter. Uh, no, we'll go to Deuteronomy chapter 7. One moment. Salakia. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. And it reads, he said, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Another plain, plain and simple. You know, he, he, he's not the author of confusion or understanding. It's plain and simple. That he, he got a peculiar people huh, unto himself. And who is that peculiar people? That is Israel, Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You come from that seed line, then you are Israelite and you are the only one can receive salvation. So, is, you know, it's no, it's no confusion there. The Bible is a true book, but the idea about it, we'll go a little further and get a little bit more edification that uh, the only one that can receive salvation are the Israelites. So we'll go a little bit further. We'll go to Romans chapter nine. Let's go to Romans chapter nine. One moment. Romans chapter nine. One moment. We get there. Romans chapter nine. And we'll start up at verse 3. Romans chapter 9, we'll start at verse 3. And it reads, it says, For I for I could wish that myself were accused from Masiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Verse 4, who are Israelites, to whom pertains the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law, and the service of the Most High and the promises. So that's plain and simple. You have to be an Israelite. 
and the ideal about it. If your forefather Abraham, Isaac, and, 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 and Jacob, then you are Israelite. You are the only one that he's dealing with. You know, and it says that the adoption, the glory, the covenants, and the giving of the law. We have the giving of the law. It's only given to the one nation. And the nation is Israel. Jacob is the only one that he's dealing with. So that that's that is a great precept. So now we'll drop down to verse uh five and it says that who who are the fathers and whom has uh concerning the flesh the Masiach came who who is over all the most high blessed uh forever amen uh verse six not not as though the word of the most high hadn't taken none effect for they are not all israel which are of israel so he only came back for the elect all of israel he's not coming back for he only died for the elect the house of david so you know they will get it on the other side but on the first resurrection it will be the house of David. That one third, that great remnant is what he's coming back for. That's what uh, verse uh, six is talking about. He said, he said, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. He's talking about the Israel of the most high. That's what he's coming back for and who he died for, uh, the house of David. So we'll read a little bit further down in Romans chapter nine. And it said, neither because they are the seed of Abraham, are they all children? But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So Abraham, the father of many, many nations, had many sons. But the idea about it, he said his, his seed will be called in Isaac. So you have to come from that seed line of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Even uh, Esau was uh, was was one of, one of the sons. He was a, a Hebrew Edomite, not a Hebrew uh, Israelite. So the idea about it is a great difference now. You know, he was a brother. To uh to Jacob, but the idea about it, he was he 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 was of another nation. Two nations are are in our in our wombs. A struggle was going on, so he would he would have enemy uh, uh, enmity against uh Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's the way he created that. But the idea about it, uh, if your seed line come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you can receive salvation. The Israel of the Most High, the one third. The government body, that's what he's coming back for. So we'll start back up Romans chapter 9 and verse 8. He said, that if that that which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of the most high, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. So the promise is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the children of the, uh, of, of the flesh are uh, 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 Esau. The, you know what I'm saying? Two nations are in thy womb. And the elders shall serve the younger. So we'll get further than that. We'll go to uh, Romans chapter 8 and get a little bit more clarification on the children of the flesh. And the ones that he's not dealing with, that cannot receive salvation. So now we'll go to Romans chapter 8 and verse uh, 3. And it and it reads, it says, for, for what the law could not do in what in that is was. Uh, so like, let me read that over again. Romans chapter 8 and verse 3. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, the most high sending his own son in the likeness of a sinful, sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. So that, you know, that's Yahweh Shai. He came down in the flesh and he, he died for us in, in, in a sinful body, but that did by he died for the elect. The ideal about it, he came down in the flesh and died for the elect, for their sins. Not all of Israel. At verse 4, it says that, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Those are the ones that can receive salvation. But you walk after the flesh and carnally mind it, as we'll read a little further, you cannot receive this. You are outside the temple. You're, you cannot receive salvation. It's only for the Israelites. Verse 5, uh, uh, Romans chapter 8 and verse 5, it says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Verse 6, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Verse 7, Because the carn carnal mind is enmity against the most high, for it is not subject to the law, of the most high, neither indeed can 
can't be. Indeed can't be. Verse 8, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please the most high. So the idea of the body, you are in the flesh and you are carnally minded. That means that there are the two nations. Uh, when you go back to uh, Genesis chapter 25, two nations are in thy womb. And the idea of the body will always be a struggle, enmity. And who, and, 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 and the most high decides who he wants to have life, salvation, and the ones that it is headed for destruction and death and, and to do wicked. He did that. He chose he chose the one, one, one good guy and one bad guy, one to receive salvation and one to receive death and destruction. So now we'll go back to uh, Romans chapter nine, get a little, little bit more edification. Romans chapter nine, let's go back to Romans chapter nine and we'll start back up around uh, 11. We'll start back up around 11. And it says, and it reads, it says, uh, it says, uh, Romans chapter 9 and verse 11, For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to election, might stand not of works, but of him that calleth. So the election was that he had one to receive salvation, that he created to receive salvation and life, the, 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 that he gave his law, statutes, and commandments to, which in fact is Jacob, Israel. The Israelites only could receive salvation. And he had another one that he created, which in fact was Esau, the Edomites, the so-called red man in Genesis chapter 25 and 25, that he would on he was only fitted uh to, to do the wickedness and also death and destruction. He's he, he's already uh preordained to be destroyed in the end time when you read about that and over dying. So the idea about it is that Israel is the only one. The Israelite can only one can receive salvation. And also, let's start back up. Romans chapter 9. And uh, we'll start back up at verse uh, 12. And it said, it said, it was, it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. Verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So the idea about that's clear and cut. So one will receive a blessing, a rulership. And dominion, and the other one will have to serve. Or the elder will have to serve the, the 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 younger, which in fact he was he was created only to be a slave. So in the kingdom to come, he will be our slave. So that deal about it through election of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he created them that way, and that's the way his word would not go out. Boy, will accomplish where he have sent it. So that deal about it. Uh, if you are Israelite, you can receive. Salvation, if you're a part of that one third, that great remnant, which is fact, is the house of David, you can receive salvation. Only the Israelite can receive salvation. No other nation cannot be drafted in unless you was already an Israelite in the first place by thy seed. Now, we'll go to Hebrews, get a little bit more edification. Let's go to Hebrews chapter, one moment. We'll go to Hebrews, one moment. Hebrews chapter 12 Hebrews chapter 12 when we'll start up at 16 Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 16 and it reads it said lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright verse 17 for ye know how that afterward when he would have inherited the blessing he was rejected for, for he found no place of repentance through he sought it carefully with tears. So that's plain and cut to say that so-called white man, which in fact is the red man, Genesis 25 and 25, cannot receive salvation. He is rejected. He, he's profane. He's outside the temple. Who is the temple of the Most High? The Israelite. If you come from that seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you you are Israelite and you can receive salvation. The only nation that he is dealing with. The other nation has not known him. Esau has not known. He's not dealing with him. He is the wicked. What the Bible talks about. He, the only nation that can receive salvation are the Israelites. Israel of the Most High. The one that he died for. The house of David. That one third remnant that he's coming back for. Now, we get a little bit more edification. We'll go to Malachi and we'll close out with this. I'm hoping that you get edified and this will help someone today. 
uh, Malachi chapter one. Malachi chapter one. We'll start at we'll start at the top. Malachi chapter one, and we'll start at the top. And it and it reads that the burden of the word of the Lord, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi, verse two. I have loved you, says the Lord. Yet, yet ye say, wherein had thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, says the Lord. Yet I love Jacob. So right now, you know, the Israelite, we're in our Lord's state right now. You know what I'm saying? We are the chosen people, the ones that he is dealing with, that peculiar people that he had set uh, for him. He chose for himself, you know, to, to be his spokesman and be uh, a representative for him to show you how to serve Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. But that deal about it, we sin against the most high. We're in our lowest state right now. We're going through things, but we we coming, getting ready to come into a close. We're getting ready to go into our kingdom now. And they say, you know, where have you loved us? Because we're catching all kind of hell right now. We have the curses on us right now. But we will, we will get ready to come into our kingdom. We're getting ready. I I uh the curses and 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 and, 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 and all the things that we had to go through is getting ready to become a thing of the past and they will fall fall to the other nation. The idea about it, Jacob he loved and Esau he hated. That's a pure thing that so we are the only nation is the Israelite. Israel can receive salvation. So we'll start back up at verse three and it said, and I hated Esau and laid his mount and heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Where whereas Eden said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the, the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hope, they shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord has indignation forever. So that's plain and simple. Jacob, he loved the law, statutes and commandments are only for Israel, the Israelites. We are the only one can receive salvation and we are the only one that he is dealing with. He's not dealing with any other nation. Even Esau, the so-called red man that's running this world today. That's why he started up Operation Warp Speed, trying to get everybody to get the uh, get, getting ready to be mandatory vaccine. Uh, then and it, it will lead into the 5G digital system and also RFD microchip, which in fact, it's the mark of the beast. He's in a great hurry because he knows he's outside the temple. He's a fornicator. He's profane. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is not dealing with him at all. He is the wrath fitted for destruction. When you read about that in Romans chapter 9, I think he start up around verse 21 through 22. And it would tell you he's only tailor, he is tailor made to be destroyed, to do his will from the left hand side. Wickedness, not salvation. He will not receive that. The Lord is not dealing with him. He said, Jacob I love, Esau I hate. And also you can read uh second Ezra chapter six and verse nine. It said that Esau is the end of the world of this current uh age now, and Jacob is the beginning of, of it that followed, the world without end, the kingdom to come, the kingdom that the everlasting kingdom forever and ever. It won't after this kingdom it will never well, after this this earth age the new earth age that's coming will be forever dominion rulership that salvation that he promised only to the nation of israel you know what I'm saying? only uh the israelites can receive salvation the title of the day later salvation is only for the israelite and i hope that this lesson clarified a lot of things there and stopped a lot of confusion that we are the only one can be saved and the only one can receive salvation, that great and one glory and immortality, things to come, uh, dominion and rulership on the other nation. We are the only ones can receive it and we are the only nation that he loved. So the idea about it, I'm hoping that you got edified by the lesson today that this, you will strengthen you and that you will get closer and closer to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And um, I like to say Shalom. And uh, before we end, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekha Kadash. And I'd like to say Shalom.